if he is your husband and you like him, then by all means, please, please summon for him you are playing the game to enjoy it all right so today we are going to talk about blade and i am going to give you my opinion about whether you should summon for him or not and let me know your opinion about it in the comment section below i would love to hear your opinions and your suggestions about whether we should summon for blade or not now before we start don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already to stay notified with everything new about honkai star rail and if you enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button and share the video with your friends and without any further ado let's just get started so first of all what is the main thing the thing that makes blade special from other characters well it is the way he deals damage because unlike your regular damage dealer like Selei or Jing Yuan uh, where you basically deal more damage with more attack uh, he deals more damage with more HP because the more HP he consumes the more the higher damage he deals and he consumes HP by using his skills or by sustaining damage both of them counts for his consumption and by that basically he deals more and more damage so that is the main thing about uh, blade that makes him special from other uh, regular damage dealers now with this in mind who are the characters that could work the best with him well in my opinion there is actually one character that uh, I think that every single player and their mama as well knows about it and that is basically Locha. Uh, the combo between these two characters is unbeatable it's just unstoppable like Blade deals damage consumes HP gets more damage uh, low chat deploys the field blade deals even more damage recover hp consume hp deals more damage recover hp consume hp deals more damage low chat again uses the emergency healing heals him and then deploy this field again and rinse and repeat rinse and repeat you can see how insane this crazy combo is so i think that the best character for blade is actually locha so if you if you would have actually uh, summoned for blade you should have summoned for locha unfortunately i think that he is actually gone now on all of the servers if i am not mistaken so that is a little bit of a disappointment but uh, if you did summon locha he is going to be absolutely phenomenal with blade now who else could be good for him well i would have said usually by lu uh, because of the fact that she is a healer as well and she is going to protect uh, Blade from dying. However, the problem with Bailu is her invigoration uh, and I really don't know how that is going to work with the HP consumption that uh, Blade gets. So whether the amount of HP that he recovers immediately is it going to be counted as HP consumption or is it not co going to be counted for that because if it does count, then she is going to be perfect for him. Not only is she going to actually heal him, but she is also going to protect him above that. And he is going to consume HP and recover HP immediately, which is going to be perfect for him. So if it does count, then that is going to be perfect for him however if it doesn't count then that is going to be bad because as we say the more hp he consumes the higher the damage he is going to deal and therefore the less hp he consumes the less damage he is going to deal so basically as i said before it depends on how her ability works on him and whether it is going to be counted or not uh, that will determine whether she is going to be a good character to actually fit with him on the team or not. Now, whether you should summon for him or not. As I said before, if you have Locha, he is going to be perfect for your team. And if you want to summon for him, summon by all means. Uh, also, if he is your husband and you like him, then by all means, please, <laughs> please summon for him you are playing the game to enjoy it you aren't playing the game to hate yourself with it right so please if you like him and you like his design and you like his voice you like how he look you like his abilities then please 
please summon for him. You are playing the game to enjoy it. Please remember that you are playing the game to enjoy it, right? You are you are spending your time to enjoy your time. So please summon for him. Anyways, outside of that, if you care about the meta more than anything else, then he is definitely going to be a perfect character to summon for. How? However, there are some stuff that you could take into consideration before summoning for him. When, uh, if you actually have Sele, he is literally the exact same as Sele. Like seriously, the exact same. The only difference is the fact that uh, Sele scales with attack, he scales with HP. Other than that, they are the exact same. And we still don't know how much damage Blade is going to deal. Sele might still deal more damage than him as well. So if you have Sele, Maybe you should not summon actually for him unless you want two damage dealers. Uh, I really don't know if that is a good idea for now uh, in the current uh, in the current period of the game uh, because later on you will actually want to have more damage dealers but in the current period of the game I really don't think that you need two damage dealers. Now, of course, if you want to build uh, two teams with each team ha having one damage dealer, that is going to be very good as well. But I just wanted to mention that Sele can actually take his place in like 90% of the uh, game right now. So I really don't see the point of having two damage dealers on the team uh, because that isn't actually really that useful. Uh, and it is going to be actually a waste of Stellar Jade. So in my opinion, if you have Sele, uh, you should save your uh, Stellar Jades for a different character. Another character that you could take into consideration is Dan Hong, who is literally now the exact same as him. Uh, he is wind damage dealer, blade is wind damage dealer, and he is basically uh, going to be a perfect replacement for blade uh, in case you have him built up already. I think that many people actually already built him up. So if you are one of these uh, people, uh, I don't think that you are going to need Blade, even though Blade, of course, is going to deal more damage if you build him uh, perfectly. However, I don't think that it is going to be a good idea to spend all that Stellar Jade just to get a little bit more damage, actually, uh, than, uh, than, than Hong. I think that it is a better idea to just actually uh, skip uh, Blade and maybe save for a different character. It doesn't have to be actually Kafka, it could be maybe uh, Imbibitor Lune or other characters that are coming in the upcoming versions. So to sum it up, in case you don't have any damage dealer until now, he is going to be a perfect damage dealer that you can use for your team and he is going to work perfectly. Uh, and as I said before, if you actually have Locha, he is going to work perfectly with him. Their combo is just unstoppable and I think that they can actually solo together uh, a majority of the content that exists in the game right now. So if you have Locha and you summon Blade, I think that that is going to create a whole team for you of two, two crazy men. <laughs> <laughs> Two pretty crazy men. One of them is actually searching for his funeral and the other one is literally carrying a coffin with him everywhere he goes. So <laughs> that is that. Anyways, uh, other than that, I think that if you have Sele or Dan Hong already built and ready, I think that it isn't actually a good idea to summon for another damage dealer because of the fact that for 90%, even actually more than 90%, maybe even 95% of the content that exists in the game right now, you need only one team. And one team needs only one damage dealer. I don't really see the point of having two damage dealers because one damage dealer, one debuffer, one buffer and one HP uh, or healer, uh, that is going to be perfect for you or you could also do one damage dealer, one shielder maybe uh, and one healer 
uh, and one buffer or the buffer uh, that is going to make a perfect team as well so I really don't see the point of summoning for another damage dealer unless you have enough uh, stellar jades to actually save for upcoming characters as well so this is my opinion as I said before let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below and I hope that this video was useful for you and if it was please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel to stay notified with everything new about Hunkai Star Rail and until next time Rami the Hunkai King is out of here.